Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play the Space Bar and the Mysterious JG. And I'm going to try to record this without a little bar at the bottom of the screen. A space bar, if you will. I think what we got to do to get Thud to actually um, use the token is to crash the game out. Thud wields that item for us. Okay. Now that he's wielding it, we can tell him to board the bus. And this time, he should give them the token. Oh, Fud! You idiot! What about me? Oh, Fud, I must have died you. Fud would probably forget his tail if it did not follow him. <laughs> you incompetent moron! Now we've missed the bus! Fud, sorry, <laughs> you being spastic, nice. I guess we just gotta wait for the next bus. Uh, this is a, this is another area. Of the game get glitchy. I don't know what we do to get the bus to come. Clicking wait as Fleavix doesn't really seem to help. Sad, not sure how to do that. Argument's puppies. You think about the fact that that hasn't changed your jar of water in over three weeks. Oh, now the bus is here. And now it's not. The game is just glitchy. Let's uh, compare literary tastes. <laughs> Once again, they're teasing us the idea that a bus might be there, and it ain't. Okay, so we're waiting for the bus to show up. There we go. What the hey? No, no, no. There's one of those, uh... Ah, damn it. Yeah, the game is glitchy, and the bus. I don't know. I heard rumors that the game got released before it was really ready. There's a lot of fun characters and stuff in this game, but I just don't think they were quite, quite quite ready to go, and they were forced to issue the game early or something. There we go. I, I Stashing it helped. Unless it's going to turn out that yeah, this isn't going to work. I shouldn't have stashed the token. Ah, oh, oh, damn it, thud.
Okay, I think maybe we have to click on the bus with the token. Now it's not Thud being stupid, it's just the freaking game mechanics not making a ton of sense. Now the game seems to be frozen. Uh oh, that says glom hole. <laughs> You scream at Thud that this is the wrong bus, but he is concentrating so hard on following your earlier instructions that he doesn't notice you're screaming until the bus has left your house far behind. After a bumpy ride, the doors of the bus open. Thud grabs your jar and steps out. The bus rumbles away. Now, Thud did exactly what we told him to do, folks. This isn't really his fault. However, I think it's time to ring him anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen all of those. Um, like, oh, yeah, I remember this one. This is my favorite. Sluts! I can't! You're just... You're turning blue. You need help? Maybe if I, uh, shake your jar a little? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! You muddle-headed fool! Are you trying to give me a concussion? Oh, you want one, sleep? Okay, well, um, there is no other way. We we were meant to come here, folks. You cannot successfully ride the bus to the Quantelope Lodge. It is not possible. So now we're at Glomhole. Uh, let's figure out what we do from here. Uh, open mailbox. Is there a mailbox here? Ah, there's a mailbox. Let's read it. Mailbox has frequent pickup services throughout the day. You're up. My dangling appendages are too limp and weak to do that. Now we've just entered into some kind of cinematic cutscene, though. If you try to tell Fleabix to do almost anything, he will give you that message, which means you have to find a way to get Thud to do it. But now there's an airplane... What the? Okay, we're being attacked by an airplane which now crashes, it looks like, into a fuel truck. Not sure exactly what happened there, but let's get Thud to open up the mailbox. It's dark in there, Fleet. Thud's scared. There's paper or something in there. Might be dangerous. Do you think it might be a letter, you buffoon? Hope it's the letter P. <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> okay. Get the letter. It's not a P. Rats! It's just paper fleet. Alright, let's check this bad boy out. The address is someone named Jubbled in Glom Hole. It isn't open, so you don't know what it says inside. Now, uh, what happens if I try to open it? Jura! My dangling appendages are too limp and weak to do that! Open the letter. Sure, Fleet, no problem. Uh, maybe a problem. dream of becoming someone important, significant, historical. Instead, I've been saddled with this adult, greatness dolt. I had a dream once. We were playing catch. <laughs> I mean, he means well. He really does. Oh, let's chat with them about, uh, ah, interspecies unions, which appears to be, they said that, he said that he's his mate thud, I don't think they mean that they reproduce, I, I, I don't know exactly. Now that interstellar travel is virtually complete. 
program in place, the union of far-flung species has become not only feasible, but nearly necessary. Certainly, the union of our two species serves as a reasonably successful example of such unions. But I question the viability of the pairing of two individuals who come from radically differing cultures. The situation is rife with the possibilities of conflict and misunderstanding. Have you seen my toothbrush? Very good, Fleavix. Now, go to Thud. Let's read it. Thud's graceless paws have ripped the letter to shreds. As far as I can tell, it was a letter inviting Jeltman to join the Quantalope secret induction ceremony. It also mentions their nightly blingo game and that a convenient mailing label has been included for return correspondence. Oh, good. So we've got a mailing label that probably says the Quantalope Lodge. So we should now... We've got a mailbox. We've got a mailing label. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, folks? We're probably meant to mail ourselves at the Quantalope Lodge. In the meantime, let's... Uh, what is this? That's the actual glom hole. Jump into hole. Son, let's jump into that hole! Oh, Son, this might not have been a good idea. It's probably a really bad idea. I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna lose... <laughs> Yeah. So you were regaling me with the trials of being Thud's hapless partner. Yep, I just killed Thud, so that means we've got to start What's the flashback over. You're getting stranded here. Uh, well, when I got the job, they gave us a piece of paper with the name of the planet I'm supposed to report to for duty. I recall the part about coming here, but can't remember what shuttle we need to take. Okay, so that gets us into the game, too. I don't... Seems like sometimes you have a choice where more than one of them will actually get you where you need to go. But, uh, we don't need to do all this again. I was saved reasonably recently, didn't I? Well, no, we gotta do this crap again, but, um... No, not Zoom... Board the bus using the token. What about me? Yeah, we already did that. I'm not gonna bother to yell at him because this is really a flashback for us. So now if I now if I think if I stashed it. It allowed us to get on with it. All the other Noblitzi have already been brought inside by their Slalavaster mates. As usual, Thud is the slowest to clean up the mess and bring you inside. Okay, don't know what we gotta do to get it to carry on now, but... I believe we gave Thud the correct marching orders. Now a bus appears. This game is glitchy as hell. Listen. Listen. Yeah, okay, I kind of wish we'd saved after this because this isn't so much a puzzle as the game being a bit glitchy about when the bus shows up. So, this isn't really something we should have to be seeing again, but it is. What you gonna do? In the meantime, I can uh, talk amongst yourselves. What do you think, folks? Can this marriage be saved? Who is at fault? Is it Fleabix? Is it Thud? Can you ever really have a situation like this where neither party is uh, to blame? Or where one party is completely to blame and the other one's completely innocent? 
Uh, it seems to me like uh, Fleabix is not the easiest guy in the world to get along with, but um, I don't think anybody would have the patience to deal with Thud. I mean, we had it stashed before. When I stashed it, that's when it finally uh, actually happened, wasn't it? There we go. Now we're on the bus to Guam Hole. Okay, so. Uh, righteous indignation. I try so hard with this lumpish oaf. How am I, alone, to keep our ship of fortune from going adrift? Yeah, and he says, You're not alone. I remember that one. Okay. Let's uh, get him to open the mailbox. <laughs> Get him to get the letter. Let's get him to open the letter. Uh, let's skip the yelling at him. Let's examine the hole. And not jump in this time. Thud, what do you see in that hole there? Thud, see just a big hole with no bottom. this weird sequence of the plane again. And now we're going to save the game before we can accidentally order Thud to do anything that would kill him. It wasn't an accident. I just I guess I didn't realize he would do it. That that was stupid of me to, you know, that Thud would be too intelligent to do that. Oh, apparently my appendages are not too weak to pick this thing up. So that's nice. What do we got over here? We're gonna need a, something to mail ourselves in. Uh, oh, there's a box. Thud, uh, hold me up to the label on that box. <laughs> From Neblet's Pride Refrigerator Company, Z Valley to the Grublats family, Chunk Hollow. Take the cardboard box. Thud decides he could make a good fort with this. PDA cannot manage to rise and store such a lob object, and fortunately it's light enough for Thud to carry. Okay. Well, what about wreckage here? Drop, Drop that first. Sure thing, yeah, you said that, buddy. What is Search the wreckage. You discover a burn navigation dial lying on the ground next to the wreckage. Okay, examine it. Ah, a standard nav dial. Apparently the only artifact of that crash we witnessed. Stash it. This is the wreckage of the, air, of the plane that attacked you. It serves the pilot right for firing innocent pedestrians. Society just can't condone that sort of aerial behavior. Okay. Now pick that thing up again. Now let's head back over here. Now I can set it down near the mailbox. Sure thing, sweet. And we ought to be able to paste the label on the box. Oh, it just flutters to the ground. Because you've got to lick it first, I would imagine. Lick the label. Sure thing. This tastes bad. Can I lick something else? Now put it on the uh, box. I wonder hey, if this will go smoothly. Yeah, how that happen? Wonder how smoothly this is going to go. Sorry, Fleabags. I'll 
try harder next time. So we are now now we have the Quantilope Lodge down as the recipient instead of uh Barb. Okay. Okay, so we did hear that one. Um, I guess we should see if there's anything left to chat with them about. Musical tastes. Regarding music, I find that rich works containing recursive themes, which form complex mathematical models, are far more satisfying than more melodic but straightforward pieces. Oh, Nick Flirt, had a fun. Eli, Eli. <laughs> Thank you for that, Thud. Uh, art, contemporary literary taste. I don't think we've done art yet, have we? Though realism conveys an artist's grasp of technique, understanding the <laughs> he line, nods, and like that. with a given subject, mm -hmm. it does not communicate the intellectual fullness of less rigid styles like abstractionism or surrealism, and fully lacks the socio-political impact of pop art or neoclassical cubist revivalism. I like pop tarts too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bud. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's save before I do something stupid, and then, um, save the again. It's under the box. Sir, you adult! Hello, you forgot me! Oh, I'm sorry, pretty big. You might think Sud is pretty stupid. Oh, no. I think you're incredibly stupid! Okay, so now we just kind of hang out inside the box. And, um... You hear a truck drive up, and an oblitzy voice order says, Salavaster to load the box into the mail truck. You can feel the box being lifted and then dropped. Amazingly, most of your water stays in your jar. <coughs> a moment later, you feel the truck moving bumpily along the dirt. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <sighs> okay, so let's get out of the box. Now we're in the mail truck. Take a look around. Did you check the mailing label on that refrigerator? Yes, stupid. Box addressed to Chunk Hollow. Addressed to anyone in particular? Mm. Not the free oh, that package family. in front of my jar. Are you absolutely sure? I mean, we just delivered a refrigerator to them yesterday. Ah. Yes, Kubis. Definitely the Brimlaws. Where's the other package going? To the Knights of Quizzle Lodge in Thief Valley. Thief Valley? Zara! That's my quite annoying. Annoying. The appendages are too limp and weak to do that. Mistakes, Kubis. Game over if we get caught back here, but let's listen to the dialogue. The planet Arium. Okay, let's run through the destination codes again. Jalap. It's probably locked. Besides, the driver and his mate would probably be startled to see their mail come walking into the cab. Um, game? Okay, I don't know what's happening now, but I didn't do this. Oh, I think I just crashed the game. 
Aww. And things were going so well. Come on, the space bar. You hadn't crashed on me yet. Oh, no. We're still good. But we've killed that dialogue. I think we needed that dialogue, too, actually. Yeah. I just want to see what happens if we get Please! caught. Please! Are you aware that impersonating mail is an intergalactic offense, punishable by torture and death? We are not going to press charges this time, but I'm afraid we'll have to detain you for a while to run some, um, psychiatric exams. <laughs> the heck does that mean? So you were regaling me with the trials of being Thud's hapless partner. Okay, so we'll pick it back up, uh, and this time we won't be detected. We'll see what that does. Okay, we're getting near the end of this video, folks, but uh, I think we should be able to... We got the nav dial. Yeah, let's get into the box. Skip past this little bit of dialogue. I'm almost positive we've got to get this box. Yes, Rubis. Box addressed to Chunk Hollow. Addressed to anyone in particular? Mm, the Vrinlov's family. Are you absolutely sure? I mean, we just delivered a refrigerator to them yesterday. Yes, Rubis. Definitely the Vrinlov's. Where's the other package going? Alright, let's just quietly listen to the dialogue and not try to click anything. Two folks. Always an important number in these things. Not even close. This is it. Pull into the driveway. Okay, game. At least I am improving. Let's unload the fridge and get out of here. Come on, game. And we need to get back in the box before we get caught. There we go. Ring the bell and then let's bolt. So he is going to go to the Quantalo Lodge, and I think we need to save our game and end this video. All right, folks. So what's our status? We've been delivered to some guy's lawn. 
Uh, and now he's going to take this package to the Quantelope Lodge. But they've gone in to look for their nav dial. I don't, at this point, can't think of a reason to get out of the box. Uh, I'm not thinking outside the box, I guess. But let's just wait and see what happens. I have a feeling that we, we have a nav dial. Somehow that's going to become a puzzle. But just because I like to see all the wacky dialogue in the game, I think I'll let us fail once by not doing anything, and then we will attempt to save the day and get to the Quanlo Lodge and other exciting things. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time to when, hopefully, within the course of a half an hour, I can actually get Thud and Flea Vicks to the Quanlo Lodge. Bye-bye.